or is out of bounds, the player must play a ball under penalty one stroke as nearly to the spot where the original, where the last ball was, was struck from. Okay? If it's, again, it's on the teeing ground, we can re-tee it. Anywhere else, we drop it as close to that spot as we can. All right, so here we've got a, a par five late in the round. Guy's got to make a move, try to make an eagle. He's going to try to hit, this, hit it in two. Uh-oh, going right. Go forward to search. We can't find it or we get down there and it is out of bounds. <coughs> we got the player has to come back. He's going to estimate the position. Um, if it's an iron, we might have a divot that we can use. If not, he's, he's got to do his best to, to, to determine where that point was. Is it going to be exact? Probably not. As long as he gets in the general area, we're going to be okay. And he's going to drop it. Now that ball rolled close near the hole, so he's going to have to redrop it. If he does it again, then he's going to place it where the ball strikes the ground. All right, provisional ball. A provisional ball is a second ball played for a ball that may be lost outside of a water hazard or may be out of bounds. You cannot play a provisional ball if your ball if you think your ball is lost inside of a water hazard or lateral water hazard. Okay, it's got to be outside of a water hazard or out of bounds. When you're playing provisional, the player must inform his opponent or, or fellow competitor before going before he goes forward to search for the ball that that ball is a provisional. My original may be out of bounds. I'm hitting a provisional. It's perfect. You pretty much have to say provisional. Now you can say I'm in broken rule 27-2. Nobody knows what you're talking about, but you are covered. Okay? But I always tell my players, make sure you say the word provisional. Now somebody asks you, is this a provisional? Yes. You're good there too. Okay? Now, statements, I'm going to reload. She's a goner. I'll hit another. <laughs> Those are not good enough statements to make that ball a provisional. So if you make those statements, as soon as you hit the, make contact with that second ball, that's the ball in play. Okay? So make sure you tell your players, <laughs> they say this is a provisional ball. All right? yeah. <coughs> we can play a provisional ball as many times as it takes us to reach where our original is likely to be. So here we've got a par five. We've got this clubhouse <coughs> area, these real dense woods, this parking lot, which is, which is out of bounds to our left. We hit it straight towards there, of course. So we think the ball may be lost or outside or out of bounds. We're going to hit a provisional. We can hit, again, we can hit the provisional as many times as it takes us. We don't hit it so good, we hit it again. Now we would go look for our original. Okay. If we run up there and hit the, hit the uh, third shot with the provisional, that makes the first one gone, second ball is not a ball in play. Okay. <clears throat> Any question on provisional ball? Now, here's a, a really good diagram of, of defining the golf course. Here we've got a line on the ground. It's always the, the, whatever the object is at ground level, like these white stakes, we don't get this extra width of these stakes, okay? It's always the golf course side at ground level. So if that stake is leaning one way or the other, doesn't matter, it's at ground level. Doesn't matter which way it's leaning. And remember, if any part of the ball is touching the golf course, we can hit it again. So that one's clearly in bounds. What about that one? It's in, okay. What about that one? Yeah. Barely, okay. <laughs> then that last one's clearly out of bounds, okay. Any questions on ball loss or out of bounds or a provisional ball? Yes, sir. What if the stake is laying on the ground? Ooh, and the committee didn't do a very good job. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Ignore that stake and go to the next one? 